Okay, so we are back, and that was the number six video. It was too fun with Yeah Mama. I told you guys when we come back, I was gonna have one of the new ads when it comes to doing a big on the scenes of music right now. He's like, hey, like I'm there, I'm there. He's here with me. Kofi Jama. How you doing, my brother? I'm doing great. How Everything nice. Yeah. I mean, I'm chilling, man. El Koso. El Koso. El in the yeah. studio. Yeah, it be vibe like that, man. That's cool. Welcome to WhatsApp TV. It's a pleasure, my G. Dope, dope, dope. Uh, let's talk about your journey. I mean, the first time that I heard of Kofi Jama, I think, I think that was, wait, if, if, I'm, if I'm to get it right, I'm very sure that was when that was you and Stoneboy. That was when Stoneboy yeah, no, I, no, no, before that, I, I met you some, I think it was a video shoot, right? Yeah. I met you somewhere, uh, Fashion Boy was there, I met you. Yeah. That was yeah. when I met you. At that point, I didn't even know that he was a dope rapper. Then, so we just had a little vibe and boom, Charlie, I see Kofi Jamar everywhere. Blowy speakers with an EP, Straight. begging videos, like doing it crazy. Let's talk about that journey. I mean, where did you hail from? How did you find yeah. yourself in this space you are in right now? Well, it's, it all started from Bantuma. Okay. Oh, back, America? Yeah, back in Kumasi. Nice. That's where I started up. A um, um, couple of rap battles here okay. and there. Okay. And a couple of studio, um, hustling in the studio, mm. trying to record mm. and all those stuff. So. Mm. It's been out from there till I got signed onto my record label. Like okay. I had one records. Okay. And I'm I'm here because of them. Because of yeah. them. Okay. So it was it's under them that you you, um, you released your first EP. Yeah. What's the title of the EP? The Truth EP. The Truth EP. Yeah. Man, why the truth? Why did you name me the truth? Well, it's my truth and it's it's an acronym for Transforming Rhythms and a Thousand Hours. Wait, wait, take it again. Transforming Transforming Rhythms and a Thousand, thousand hours. hours. Okay. So the truth the EP truth. that, yeah. So it's, it's built around this concept of mm. um, uh, trying to show up my versatility, okay. like announcing my presence in the game. That okay. was the whole concept. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So you are a rapper, right? I'm a rapper and I sing. I'm, I'm artistic. Okay. I do anything music, yeah. Okay. Okay. So on that EP, how many, um, how many tracks were on the EP? Well, it was six. Six, okay. Yeah. Let's take from the top. Number one. Number one was Thousand Hours. Okay. It was, talks about the hassle. Okay. And number two is Midi Up. Okay. Yeah. And number three was uh, with Sifa. Okay. That's Chermi. Chermi, yeah. And number yeah. four was Adebi. Okay. Yeah. I like that one. That, yeah. that one has a hip hop feel yeah, to it. Yeah, hip hop yeah, feel. Yeah. 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 Number five is uh, it got the techno feel. It's make you mine. Okay. Yeah. And number six is uh, for whatever. For whatever. And that's a dancehall vibe. Dancehall vibe. Yeah. So awesome. I tried to spread it all across. All across. I mean, we are gonna come talk about it because if you ask anybody who knows Kofi Jama, they are definitely going to say is that me day up that they will know yeah, you. Of. Yeah. And he did a remix with Stoneboy. We're gonna talk about that story, but yep. let's let's go back a little bit. You are quite new in the game, but you already have features like Ice Prince, Calligraph Jones, and all yeah. that. Bro, how did that happen, and how does that make you feel? Well, first of all, I'll say it's Grace. Okay. And me and my my record label also. Mm. Got a huge part to play mm. in that. Mm. So th those are the two. And me believing in what I have and it connects with the people all around me. So mm. that's it. And the feeling is so far great because mm. it's like I'm a, actually a, a, a type of hero when I go back to my neighborhood mm. and go back to where I'm from because mm. they see me out there and yeah. they, they, they I'm, I'm inspiring them yeah. and mm. motivating, that, mm. motivating them that they mm. can also mm. reach that point mm. in life. So. It's all good. Now, bro, it has to be a good feeling because, yo, Ice Springs, I mean, Ice Springs is always picking you up. For real. That's like, that's because he real. knows what he sees because he's a rapper, right? For and real. he sees that potential in you. So yeah. it's, 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 it's a dope feeling that, ha, no, I still want to get into your headspace. Like, when you sit back and go, like, yo, I'm coming from Bad Tamak America and Ice Springs is out here picking me up. Like, how does that mean really make well, you feel? Oh, yeah. It's, there's been uncountable times that mm. I, I share real nigga tears over that. Mm. I can say it. And, um, it, it's not for me. Mm. At the end of the day, it's for my people. For your people. Yeah. I feel you, I feel you, I feel you. Now let's come back to the EP. Let's talk about Midea. I mean, for those of you who don't know, like, this, this is my brother, so I mean, I know a lot of behind the scenes activities that happen, really? but it's cool like that. But really? let's talk about Midea. The original one came out, we were jamming to it, then shoot. Still Boy remix. was on the remix. Boy, yeah. put out the story of the remix. How did it happen? Well, um, mm -hmm. I did a donation. Mm somewhere during the COVID times, mm. like the mm -hmm. serious COVID times. And mm -hmm. uh, uh, I, like there was a backdrop of the song on like on the, the video that we put out. Yeah. There was a backdrop of the song yeah. in there. So yeah. Stoneboy heard it and just commented under the post that, yo, Jamal, this is the remix. And okay. already we've been trying to get him on the song. So okay. he just agreed to that remix. And That's it. So he didn't even have to reach out to you, no, but he came. Yeah. 
I said, let's do a remix yeah. to it. And the remix was fire. Fire. Yo, give us a freestyle of the media. Just give us a so freestyle. So many nights I cry just to see my hope alive. Till I keep on burning, that be why I keep on trying. Can't give up till I die. So I for do my best, oh yeah. Me day oh, me day oh. Hey, me day oh, so me day oh. Keep working every day, oh, till I see more wind and I see more glory. Me day oh, me day oh. Hey, me day oh, so me day oh. I keep Bro. working every day, oh, till I see more wind and I see more glory. Yeah. Bro, man, that's that's spiritual, man. I mean, yo, I mean the spirits in <laughs> day of like it's cool like that. But we're gonna come talk about the new one that you put out recently. The new one that's doing numbers for you. Your song is number one on Apple Music. Yeah, the whole of Ghana. The whole of Ghana is number one in Kosovo. Uh, let's go and take uh, Midday up. That's the remix you and Stonebush. So we're gonna go check that video. When we came back, we talk about El Kosovo. Still watch out TV stuff to stay. All right, so welcome back, and that was Kofi Jamai and Stoneboy with Midday up the remix of that Truth EP. His first ever EP, and the EP did numbers for him. And let's yeah. that numbers transformed into the numbers that he's doing right now with El Kosovo. Bro, let's talk about, like, when I play the jam, right, like, I just sit back and, because, you didn't, you didn't really do much on the track, yeah, right? Yeah. You just laid back on it, but that little bit that you did, it was like much on the song. Yeah. And it makes the song crazy. First yeah. of all, let's talk about the people who have, who have hit you, who have, like, um, bigged you up for that, for that song. Like, because I see you post Doneo. Yeah. The nail is going crazy over the song, actually. Okay. Yeah. Who again? Ice Prince. Mm -hmm. Ice Prince, like, was the first person to endorse that song. Mm -hmm. I see a lot of people posting it. Like, you have a lot of yeah, new fans. Yeah. Moesha is your fan. Is a fan of yours now. Whoa. You didn't know? Hey, he's licking the lips. It's nice. I mean, I'll start rapping. Me, I'll start rapping. You wait for me, but let's talk about El Costa, bro. For I real. mean, what inspired that record and what made you want to link up with um, Yao Tag and YP to put on that record? What inspired well, it? It was me actually going back to my roots. Okay. Because way back way people would not discover me yet. Now. Mm. now they do trap music. I they do all kinds of music for the streets. Okay. So as I came to Guard One Records, people mm. thought I lost that thing or oh. people knew me for me trying to be romantic on yeah, Jeremy. Singing and, and all that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So yeah. I had to take it back to the roots. And YP we linked up way back, so he was the perfect person. And yeah, I talked to Charlie, yeah. big him up, Charlie. He was the perfect person on that song. So, mm. Charlie, we just so linked up. And so just made it happen, yeah. Was this something that you guys vibed on the studio? Was something that you, you sat down, you wrote, or well, just the beat? I did the hook. Okay. Yeah, I did the hook first. Okay. And I had them in mind, I had that vibe in mind too. Mm. So, mm. like, I already had them in mind mm. when I was creating mm. that song. Mm. 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 Awesome. I mean, we're going to go check the video, but let's talk about life under a record label. A lot of people have this perception that when you are young and you are coming into the game and you are signing to a record label, it, in a way, goes a long way to actually destroy a career. Because we've seen a lot of people yeah. who came into the game and they were signing to record labels and this didn't really go well for them. What is it that Gadwan is doing exceptional for you that makes you feel like, yes, I'm going to the top? Well, first and foremost, mm. It's the loyalty and the family okay. thing that we have. Okay. It's not about making profits just of someone. Mm. It's we are building something. Okay. Like we are all dedicated to a cause. Mm. And I'm, I'm playing my part as me doing the music and all of them are like individual playing their yeah. part yeah. and promoting it and yeah. getting it out yeah. there. So that's it. That's the main. We have a vision that we all are coming together to build. So mm. that's it. That, that keeps us strong. That keeps you guys yeah. strong. And you feel like whatever it is that you are looking at achieving in the music industry, God one is going to help you do yeah, that. Yeah, most definitely. Most definitely, it's going to happen. Awesome, man. Who's your favorite rapper in Ghana? Whoa, I can't choose. Honestly. Bro, you have to. Just pick one. Who's your favorite? Who's the one person when you hear you go like, yeah, this is where I'm trying to get to? Well, from where I picked up myself, I think mm -hmm. uh, Kwesiata. Okay. Yeah, because... Okay. Yeah. Are we going to see you do something with Kwesi very soon? Are you yeah, guys going to get... Because actually, way back... We that question no get the name. Mm. I used to link up with him oh, okay. on the regular. He was okay. my connecting tema. Okay. I was way back in Kumasi and we used okay. to chat and all that mm. stuff. So mm. sometimes it's actually it's gonna, gonna work. Happen. It's gonna yeah. happen. But are you are you working on an album? What's new? What is new coming out for Coffee Jam? Yeah, Jamal? I'm working on an album, but for now it's back to back hard street stuff. Hard street stuff. So yeah. the album comes like it's preparing way for the album mm, yeah mm, mm. awesome yo uh, we're gonna go take your video with ice prince and calligraph right. um, jones what's the title of that one 
the city, right? Correct. So we're going to go take the city. When we come back, we play a game with Kofi Jamal. We put him to the test and see how good he, he's going to do at the So stay, people.